Yeah, boy. Boston Red Sox, baby. Woohoo! Game three was played today, and the Red Sox beat the Houston Astros 8 to 2. And they've now taken a 2 to 1 series lead in the ALCS, which means the Houston Astros are now the underdogs. So, in this video, I'll show you how to hedge a bet. Now, if you look at the original bet that I placed, it was for $15,000 at odds of $2.25 with bet365. Right now, you can get the Houston Astros at $2.53 with sports bet, and these are currently the highest odds out on the market. So, if I plug those numbers into this simple spreadsheet, so we've got the Red Sox, odds of $2.25, the original stake of 15000 that yields a return of 33750 and a net profit of 18750 Now, if we want to hedge this so that we don't lose any money, what we can do is hedge this amount. To get that amount, we divide the original bet return, so this amount here, the 33750 by the opposite event odds, which is the $2.53. Doing that gives us a hedge stake of 13339 and 92 And if we plug that number in here, you will see that we get a net profit of $5,410.08, regardless of who wins. So that means if we place this bet right now of $13,339.92 with sports bet at the odds of $2.53, whether the Red Sox win or whether the Astros come back and win, we'll walk away with a $5,410 profit, which represents a 19.09% return on investment tax-free. Now, I'm risk tolerant, so... I believe in the Red Sox and I'm not going to hedge this bet. But for any of you that want to lock in a profit and you don't you don't want to watch the rest of the series, that's fine. You can hedge using this technique. So, remember to subscribe, tell your mates. I'll be posting a whole lot more educational videos on how to make money from sports betting. Stay tuned, enjoy. Yeah!